people. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> So uh, we're talking about our beautiful, beautiful retreat we just did. Ah. We're still even tired. Yeah. So we start falling asleep. We'll have the squirrel slap us awake. <laughs> but thank you for joining us. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening since you're connecting. And we want to say hi to Diddy from Sedona where we had our retreat. We had some beautiful, beautiful people, as you can see. Look at all the beautiful people that were in our retreat. <laughs> that was uh, Sunset in Sedona. Oh, it was such a it, good time. It was such a good time. Yeah. We I had mean, a great time. We're even still <laughs> tired from, from it all. It's like... And all the people who came with us on the retreat are really excited that we're making this video because they still just want to be connected. Like yeah. the WhatsApp group we started, they cannot stop. Like no one wants to disconnect. It's amazing. Right. No one no one wants to disconnect. Yeah, because we connect with you before we do the retreats and we connect with you after the retreats. Yeah. This isn't um, like normal retreats where you're just like, yeah, a number, let's go. You yeah. know, we really connect with you and and see where you need help or other people connecting with you. This was very, very much a soul family. Oh very much God. a soul family. I mean, totally. just I, I, no words, yeah. no words for it, no words for it at all. So yeah, um, and a lot of things happened while we were gone with the solar eclipse. Yeah. Some of the predictions that I did came true. Ooh. Some of the stuff you said I'm sure came true. So yeah, well, earthquakes, we had major earthquakes, yeah. remember? and. Um, major tornadoes that I said hmm that was kind of going the way the direction I said and yeah things like that so oh and you also said um I remember you also said something about people that we didn't really think like what they did what right and stuff came out with um some famous rappers like and did he yeah and I I was shocked I was like yeah what, what are you talking about and I remember you saying something I, like that yeah I was gonna I said there's going to be people, it's like shock, shockaroo, right? Yeah. yeah. Jay-Z, um, P. Diddy, all those things are coming out. And people are, and more and more is going to be coming out. More and more is coming out. I don't think it's it's ending. It's I think it's, uh, to me, that's what Spirit has shown me, that it's going to happen through the summer, mm -hmm. and then it might taper off around September, October. But I don't know how that works in astrology. But Well, yeah, I mean, and the thing is, well, September, interesting, because the next eclipse season is going to be in September. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it's like the seeding moment, the energy gets moved, and then you start to see the ripple effect, and then maybe like another big whoa shocker yeah. comes with the next portal opening and activating, and right. that would be interesting. Yes, it's yeah. going to be interesting. There's still going to be more earthquakes, uh, I know, because even Hannah's, we're both like, okay, we're tired. Why, why are we so tired? Why are we so <laughs> draining? And I think it's the universe getting us ready for some shake. Rattle and roll. <laughs> no, no, no. And we'll be okay. Hopefully, and pray that we, and everybody's we're all be, be okay. fine. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll look at it that way. So, so can it, do you want to kind of give a little brief? What's overview? your brief? Yeah. 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 Let's little do a little take. overview. So we chose to go for you guys don't know, we, Debbie and I just hosted a retreat in Sedona and it was amazing. We had 15 people in our group. And they came from all over, from the U.S. We even had a gentleman from Canada. Oh, we love you, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet little Jerry. Yeah, we had three men come with us on the retreat, and that and was, was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot it was of fun. That masculine and feminine energy, the, uh, the women that needed some of the masculine energy. Yeah. It, uh, they the, the guys on the trip were Andy and Jose and Jerry were, were such awesome. wonderful, wonderful men. Brought the masculinity, but also the feminine and yeah. helping women that uh, it, too independent. And it's kind of like, could you help them allow you to open the door and close the window and serve them food? Hannah was one of the women. I, I was going to say, I was one of them. <laughs> she was one of the people. I was like, okay. I, I, Spirit said to me, uh, tell the guys to pamper them so that they know what they're worthy of and what they should, you know. Yeah. And I had more than one. That yeah. was also very important. <laughs> Inside joke. Inside yeah. joke. <laughs> we don't need to get into stuff. Um, but yeah, we chose Sedona because, first of all, it's the eclipse portal, the eclipse activation, where all of these cosmic energies are coming into our sphere. And it's about major events occurring, major endings, major beginnings, faded karmic destined moments in 
in our lives, our collective lives. So right. we really set an intention to call our soul tribe in. And I think we did a pretty uh, good pretty, job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic job. Right. And so we even, um, we created um, a t-shirt ourselves. Oh, yeah. This is our t-shirt that Woo-hoo. we created. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Sedona Solar Eclipse Plus Retreat 2024. 2024. So, and and the, uh, the our people that came to the retreat, we got a lot of gifts, a lot of people, a lot oh, of surprises. Thank you so much, yeah. And so, so thankful. So many people being generous. Um, one woman made notebooks for specifically us, for did, us. Yeah. And put, uh, put our title, A Seeding Moment of Destiny. Like, yeah. it was beautiful. And then another woman made this shirt for us. Here, I'll get my rosary out of the way. There you go. So, squirrel, playing squirrel. off the squirrel with the solar eclipse, April 8th. You can see 2024. And so let's tell them about the history of the squirrel. Oh, my god! Because we asked her. We thought that she made this design. Yeah, because of the squirrel. all the times the squirrel appears yeah. in Debbie's videos, right? Because I'm always saying squirrel. squirrel. So. <laughs> so we're in the kitchen. And I said to Myra, I said, so, you know, did you design that shirt? And she said, no, I, I found that image on the Internet. And I was like... I'm sorry, you found a squirrel with a solar (laughs) eclipse? (laughs) And she said, yeah, it's a thing with like these indigenous peoples. And we could not believe it. We were like, what are you talking about? I need to know this story immediately. So she sent us the link and it's the Choctaw Nation in Oklahoma. And it's the legend of the black Black squirrel. 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 And the legend has it that a mischievous squirrel was trying to swallow the sun. (laughs) I love this. Act it out of the set. Trying to swallow the sun. So what the Choctaw Nation does and what all these people in Oklahoma on the reservations were doing on April 8th, they would get out pots Pots and and pans pans and sticks and and sticks and bang them together to scare the squirrel from so it wouldn't swallow swallow the the sun. It wouldn't swallow the sun. (laughs) And it, isn't that, have you ever heard of it? If you have, great. Put to the comments down below. Oh my gosh. We never yeah. heard of it before. Never heard of it in our lives. And it was just like, are you, it was so delightful and enchanting and hilarious at the it's, same time. I mean, is there coincidences? I guess there isn't, yeah. right? It's just like, I mean, it was just crazy. It was crazy that all of a sudden we're like, what? Squirrel, solar eclipse. And that's what this image. I mean, come on. I was like, dang, Myra, you designed a really good t shirt. She's like, no, this is a thing. This is a thing. (laughs) So, yeah, I mean, that is uh, fantastic. I mean, that's fantastic. It was really cool. Hannah sent, um, gave us these obsidian, I call them scrying tablets. Uh And you had. You, yours, you couldn't see through. No. So I had gone to Mexico City and we were in Teotihuacan walking the pyramids. And one of the vendors came up to me and he said, hey, do you want to know how um, they studied, the Aztecs studied the moon back in the day? And so he brought out an obsidian plate like this. It was smaller and it was actually a little thinner. And he said, yeah, you just hold it to your eye and you look directly up at the sun. And it was the coolest thing. Mine worked. So I brought my little one and we had ordered a bunch of these for the group because we thought, wouldn't it be cool for them to see it through this obsidian ancient way? Yeah. But some of them, well, actually the package that I got when I tried the first couple of discs, I couldn't see anything. So I thought they didn't work. But spirit came along <laughs> and we we're yeah. sitting here seeing, you know, we had the glasses and we were looking at and seeing the solar eclipse and then spirit kept on going because our room was upstairs and it kept on going to me, go to the room and get your obsidian thing. And I go, it doesn't work. And they're like, go and get, and I'm like, freaking A. So when they start go and get it, I'm like, yeah. okay, fine. I'll prove to you. It doesn't work. I come down and I go, uh, mine works. <laughs> <laughs> And it was a really beautiful, beautiful pink. Oh, it was beautiful. It was like a beautiful fuchsia pink. It was fantastic. I don't know if, if you follow me on uh, Instagram or Facebook. It was on the stories there, and I showed it to you. Yeah. Showed it to you. I mean, <laughs> Jerry's uh, Canadian accent is getting into me with the Minnesota accent. 
But um, it was just beautiful. It's so, beautiful. and even Jerry said he goes, "Oh, it must have some red obsidian in there for it to be so pink." Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? It was just gorgeous, and we did we could see it through our glasses. Yeah. Here, um, ouch! Viewing the eclipse, so we could see it through our glasses. Look at this picture. See, everybody is wearing their glasses. Yeah, and we got. Those. Isn't that the coolest picture? I love that picture of us all. Looking up. It was the most incredible moment. So we can talk a little bit about the activities during this full moon, um, or sorry, new moon solar eclipse. We thought um, it would be really important. It's really important to set an intention as yes. this is going on. Yes, this celestial phenomena is like taking place in the skies. And at the same time, it's a seeding moment of, of truly of right. your destiny. So the night before we did a whole astrology workshop where everybody got to, it was a very rowdy class. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> it was Every hilarious. Day we laughed. Oh my God, it was so fun. And people were like, wait a minute, my 10th house is what? My 12th house, what? <laughs> it was so fun. But um, everybody got an idea of what intention they should be setting based on their astrological chart. Right. And then in the, the next day, we did breath work. We did really powerful holotropic breath work. Very powerful. Massive healing and release yeah. and tapping yeah. into the subconscious in ways that were pretty incredible to think about just through breath. I mean, it it blew me away. Yeah. It blew me away and I didn't understand the potency of my just healing from until breathing the next in day. and out in certain ways yeah. and fast and slow and da da da, da. and yeah. Jose um, did a really really good job of yeah thank you of, Jose um, for coming of, you know facilitating us facilitating us yeah. I mean a lot of a lot of breakthroughs for a lot of a lot of people <sighs> incredible major. and you didn't have to take any medicine yeah no, so no plant medicine you, you don't need to do any plant medicine or anything like that and it was just it was just yeah it was really work. powerful breath I, work I think it was also even extra powerful because we were doing it as the eclipse was happening right and i think that was like the secret magic behind a lot of it i mean the, the portal right right we chose, well, in sedona where yeah. there's a lot of vortexes hello mcfly <laughs> there's literally vortexes everywhere, everywhere. the airport vortex the yeah. heart <laughs> vortex <laughs> the you know suns and silver gallery there happens to be a vortex <laughs> Yeah, even at the store. That's right. I right. forgot about that. And it, and it has signs like voted the number one vortex, vortex in Sedona. Yeah, it's like, and it was pretty powerful. You sat there. Oh I felt God. it. I sat there and I started going back. Like, what is going on? Why is my body being pushed back? You know, it was it was just a really powerful place to do it. Yeah. And so after we had two sessions of breath work that day on the eclipse and during the break, we went outside and we timed it perfectly so that we're outside you know doing um is it this one the uh, viewing? i'll just show that yeah number three. Oh, so you see us so this is after the first round of breath work and then we go outside and we're looking up at this eclipse taking place and then we brought out debbie and i brought bought headsets and we played, played. yeah the hertz frequency of vib uh, vibration of love and then a, a leading through a, a ceremonial moment of planting your seeds and you're watching this amazing eclipse and you're listening to nothing but love. I mean, you can't be more high yeah. vibrational and magical. Yeah. And then yeah, she's bringing it out and then you're seeing a pink, a pink sun and moon. Like it was, yeah. It was incredible. Pink and love heart. Yeah, love. Yeah. It was incredible. It was very incredible. Yeah. Do you want to talk about any other experiences we had on the retreat? Well, we had... Um, we had the labyrinth, and this is um, beautiful, huge. Mm -hmm. Look at how huge! It, it, you can't even can't even put it in one picture. No, yeah, it was so huge, it's gorgeous. Um, we took them to this labyrinth, and and they we had them listening to sound music too. Yeah, Benalpi. so because you know you beautiful people know that I always talk about sound and frequency and vibration and water. So and you know under a labyrinth there is lots of water. Mm -hmm. They say because of us pulling. And doing this pattern mm. draws water to I your place. That. Yeah, so that. it's a good place. A uh, good place to do a labyrinth is if you know if there's spring water underneath or something like that, and it it, it makes the vibration of the labyrinth. Your walk makes yeah. uh, the vibration of the water really powerful. That's a cool. big conduit. 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 Yeah, and Dr. Emoto, you said visited yeah. that place, yeah. right? 
Dr. Emoto said that certain parts of the water was heart and soul or high consciousness, um, subconscious, heaven, Mother mm-hmm. Mary. There was a lot of vortexes there uh-huh. of the water. Um, everything there was really powerful. We also did uh, a chakra walk, mm-hmm. listening to the music too. That was really and, awesome. and they made their own beads. You probably don't have yours with you, but um, I we placed a bead. And then you place it for every chakra so that they can bring it home. And that vibration that was from this spiritual place, also with you and also the water, you can carry around with you all the time, every time you see. And you do whatever you want with these um, stones. Um, And you're building your intuition, too. Like, as you're walking through this chakra walk, you know, you could feel, is this one blocked? Hmm. This yep. one's not as open as the other ones. My higher chakras were like so good. It was. It felt very yeah. clear. It was the the first initial ones that I was. I was very surprised, but also very grateful to just learn more things of me. Right, knowing which blo- where your blockages are from this retreat yeah. and um, uh, allowing a lot of allowing, having to teach yeah. people how to allow was. Uh, like I said, even with the guys helping the girls and the, and, and one of the gals is like, uh, she, it's almost like she didn't know what to do. Yeah. It's like, put your hands down and let them help you. And she's like, I don't know what to do because I'm so used to doing it myself. And I'm like, I know. That's why I'm trying to teach you that you can, you're worthy of some guy to help you out that you don't have to do it all yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah it was, it was just through certain actions that even though it seems like the simplest thing. Yeah. But learn so much from it. So much, right? So it was much. like so much. People didn't, and and we uh, we tired them out. We worked until really late at night, and people were like, "We worked until late." Yeah, but then we crack open the coconut. Then you're like, <laughs> you, you stop fighting us. Yeah, right. And then yeah. it's like we could wiggle ourselves in and go, "Okay, we're opening the app. We're gonna heal you." Yeah. You know, we don't know how to not give a lot. A lot. We give way too much. <laughs> We do every single retreat. It's like um, you gotta give too much. Yeah, how many how many retreats do you hear that say uh, the people say you give too much? Yeah, you give us more. I mean, I've been on loads of retreats, and I gotta say, what we deliver is off the charts yeah. in terms of content, <laughs> quality, and quantity. You yeah, know, it's all it's all there. Yeah, it and was it was crazy. Then they loved where we went to the River Rock cr- Crossing. Oh, yeah. I, a lot of people loved it there. We did a meditation along the creek there. Yeah. Um, we saw, uh, I was telling them to look at the vortex a certain way so that they could see the aura just kind of going boosh. Oh, so cool. And people were like, right? And I go, just look at it a certain way and call on to it and you're going to see the aura going in and out. And people were like, whoa, <laughs> oh my God. You know, it yeah. was like really crazy. Yeah. Um, just even simple things like that, looking at an aura of a vortex but it comes into you do yeah. you know what i'm saying and we get you get tired yeah people are like we're so tired i'm like yeah because we're shifting so much i mean i'm tired now it's like you could give me a pillow i'd probably no i have not snoring. gone back to my dance classes yet i can't i was like my body needs to rest, rest. i could try yeah. and push it but no next week i'll be back in dance yeah. class. you know i know it's like oh I got readings next week, uh, <laughs> but I'll be good. I'll be good. The body doesn't have to, the, the, the spirit will just go blip, 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 and then the body will be like snoring yeah. on the side. But, um, and it's different too. When yeah. you're holding space for that size retreat, I mean, 15 people, two of us, you know, yeah, holding space lot. for it. It's, it's taxing as a retreat leader. Um, and it's fulfilling at the same time. It, right. it fills your cup and, but you're holding so, so much. much space for yeah. people and, I just, and then you got to think we drove there and drove back. Yeah, and then oh, I drove she the drove. van that the, we rented oh, a, yeah. a Mercedes Sprinter van, which was amazing. And it holds 15 people. Yeah, and um, thank you so much to everybody who uh, allowed me and trusted me with the, with the driving, <laughs> who clapped when I hit some curbs with that back tire because <laughs> I got to take those turns wider. <laughs> <laughs> but it, ended it was almost so like fun. she got over the curb and everybody's like, like oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I told them too after the first one I was like that probably won't be the last yeah <laughs> you know so just, just bear, bear, bear with, with us <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny because um, when we were at the Red Rock Crossing <laughs> we had time we made it so that you could have time and we did aura clearing we did meditation on the river we it was just and believe it or not it was like in the 60s 
Yeah. And a little bit cloudy, but it was warm. Once the, yeah. If the sun hits you in Arizona, that, it's hot. That Arizona sun is something else. Yeah, it's hot. It is. It can, uh, just think if it's 90 or 100 degrees. People in Phoenix oh. are probably like, I'm melting. Yeah. But, um, yeah, just it was such, the vibration was just so high. It was so Just high. so high that even we were getting comments, you know, oh, my God, your vibration or whatever from yeah. people that didn't even see us. So it it, when we were at the Red Rock Crossing, I think that a lot of people, because that's kind of like our last thing that we did before our breath work, right. before the before the um, eclipse. Yeah. And it was really powerful. A lot of people thought that was one of their favorite spots. Yeah. Because um, we bring you to places. We bring you to um, uh, the stupa. Let's see. Is that this one? Yes. Oh, that was a fun we, day. Yeah, we uh, brought him to the stupa. Was that... With the um, Angel Valley, or was that the, um, that was the right before Angel Valley, right? Yes, I think yeah. so. Yeah, so we did that, and that brought a lot of energy to them, too. Mm -hmm. And then we, and then, the, and then after that, we went to, oops, we went to the Labyrinth. Mm -hmm. So a lot of energy, just because of the vortex at the, at the stupa, yeah. and then the energy of this place that has the Labyrinth. Yeah. It was it was a lot to the point at the end of the day people were so tired but you know how you're tired but it feels so good yeah you you don't all you like you can't go to bed either because you're having so much fun with everybody that's right. what it felt like I mean yeah. people, we had people telling us that they have never laughed this hard in years years, years. we're like what <laughs> we're <laughs> always, <laughs> always laughing I'm like. I can't imagine a life like that. Right. I don't want to, but thank you for coming. And I'm, we're so excited that you're experiencing it. Right, there's so much laughter. I mean, it was just like, yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah. To the point that one of my signs was from my Uncle Tony, because we laughed all the time. Um, he And he was, he was my dad's oldest brother. So, you know, if I was in my teens, he was probably in his 50s or 60s. I mean, he was a lot, a lot older guy. Fantastic, funny, funny guy. Yeah. Fantastic artist. Um, and we laughed all the time. He was just a jokester. And it's kind of mm -hmm. smart assy like I am. Mm -hmm. And so I told him, I said, Uncle Tony, I want the sign to be that someone pisses in the, They laugh so hard they piss in their pants. And I was just, I was just, you know, joking around. I just wanted everybody to laugh. So, so laugh so hard they're pissing in their pants well we had two people almost it happened. we had one person <laughs> one for sure <laughs> and one questionable is that is yeah. that the second one the, the verdict's still out on it the was like one. thank god the toilet was close by let's put it that way <laughs> <laughs> when i heard this i was like i'm sorry what did you just say happened <laughs> it was so funny i was like okay thanks uncle tony for the sign like, i mean but that that literally just shows you how much we were laughing this right this but people. also serious and also releasing yeah hugging and just crying, as much crying. And, yeah just as much crying and so, some people were like i just I, I don't know why i just keep on crying i'm like because you've been holding on to it for so many years yeah so many, especially us women, I'm not saying the guys didn't, uh, the guys had emotions too and they were yeah, crying absolutely. and stuff too. But a lot of us women, we hold it, you know what I mean? Let everybody else cry, the kid cry, the husband cry, everybody else cry. Yeah. And they were like, why are we last? Whatever. Mm -hmm. But it was, people were just crying and crying and crying. We're like, thank God. And they're like, really? Why? Because yeah. you're releasing, you're finally allowing, yeah. you're finally allowing to break and care, release everybody's stories and yeah. Yeah. And I um, like to look at tears as like that offering where you're watering your garden. Yeah. You know, like you really have, there is an ecosystem in here. And if we cannot water it, then, you know, you're just, you're holding it back. It's like this dry desert. So it was, it was beautiful to yeah. see so many people be vulnerable, go so deep and allow, allow. us to see them in that state and not judge it. You know, yeah. no, no one, judgment, no, no judgment. Judged. It no was like judgment. celebrating, right. you know, like when I would see things or like during the breath work and, you know, there's, there's sometimes like screaming can happen because or dancing, dancing. I, yeah. was dancing. I was dancing. I was dancing too. I was doing all of it. <laughs> I mean, I was, my booty was, it was a shaken. <laughs> it was, it was incredible yeah. what went on. Okay. <laughs> but really to, um, to, just to people felt free mm -hmm. to express in whatever way, even if it surprised themselves, you know? Right. And we just 
loved it and held all of it. Yeah, and I, I think, what, what do you, why do you think this is important for people to do this? I think that the... We're not saying you have to. We're just saying the importance of it. Yeah, is, the importance of like the, the releasing portion of it. Yeah, and then going through the solar eclipse. And oh, my God. It was just, you know, it was, yeah, it's hard to explain. Um, I think right time, right people, right time. Absolutely. You know, obviously. And we do those prayers. You know, we say the Om. Um, we were taught by a, a beautiful teacher in Brazil that when you're calling things in, you know, you make a list, you say what you want and declare it, and then ohm it. Ohm it. And yeah. we would do this for the retreat, you know, right. send us those souls that are in highest alignment, you know, for, for the work we're gonna do, for right. the, the people that we wanna lead, the, the ones that are open and ready. And it was like our prayer- Was answered. Completely, completely. So yeah. I think it was important because you know, it was a very, eclipses are incredibly powerful moments. And there right. is a consciousness and an awareness that's rising, you know. And especially, I think, the fact that it was also traveling over the United States. I mean, we'll feel it in no matter in yeah. Canada and Mexico. Right. Like, we'll, um, it, it was so much more in aware, you know, how many people, how many news outlets, like everybody tuned in. And so when you're when you recognize something massive is taking place and you tune in and you set a really positive intention you're supporting your highest and best growth right you know really and you can still do that yeah you can still do that yeah it's like put your seed out there don't but you know like louise hay says don't dig it up to see if it's growing is it growing <laughs> yeah. is there a leaf on there do you know what i mean <laughs> He said, yeah. you know, that would not be good. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, well, I was strong until you destroyed my soil. You know what I mean? So let it bloom. It might, you got to have patience. Unfortunately, you got to have patience. Yeah. This eclipse was so strong. I, I heard a story. I thought this was wonderful because I remember um, I graduated high school in, in 1979 in Arizona. Woo. So tells you how old I am. Like it. But anyways... Uh, 1978, we had the eclipse, and I remember it was not a big thing then. Yeah. And I was in singing. I was in choir because I was always singing, as you guys know. And so I went to the choir teacher. I said, "The eclipse is happening. Let's go. You know, let, let's get all the kids out and see." And he's like, "I don't care about it." And I'm like, "You don't care about the eclipse?" <sighs> so I was the only kid sitting outside. Probably got dinged on points because I'm trying to see the eclipse, oh right? Oh, my gosh. And so um, he, he was like, I don't care. I don't care about it. And I was just like, should we bring all the kids out to see the eclipse? It's a big thing. Mm -hmm. And um, I saw this thing on TikTok where a teacher in 1978 said, let's get back together in 2024 when there's the solar eclipse again going oh, across. Oh, cool. And it was, I think it was in New York or something. I could be having the wrong state if I do. Sorry. Okay. And they did he thought oh a couple people yeah hundreds of people yeah from school met with the teacher to yeah. see the solar eclipse in 2024 that's how important it is <laughs> right because the next one is what night uh 2046 it's gonna be um yeah it's gonna something be like that a long time from now yeah so 20 years at least over the united states there's gonna be eclipses all over the world and you can yeah. fly to like different places right if you want. but, but yeah, one that goes us, across the states again it's yeah. not until 2024 uh, 40, 46 yeah, 2040 something oh god i'm gonna be old yeah my wrinkles are gonna be really deep <laughs> <laughs> something like that i haven't actually looked so don't so 20 me some years from now but mm, yeah i'll be in my 80s <laughs> uh, she'll be pushing me in the car <laughs> no, I like in Brazil. I'm okay with that. I'm You're okay. Like remember Brazil pushed me in the chair. At the airport. Oh, airport security. Oh my god, it was so good. I don't know how we make it. We laugh too much. <laughs> <laughs> but the energy of it, it's just even just the energy of the people. You know, we don't have to have eclipses to, to connect together or whatever. Yeah. And like in like Hannah saying, it's like around the world. Because there's what, two a year? Around the world? No, at least four. Oh, really? Yeah, they I didn't, come eclipse. Every, uh huh. Eclipses. Well, because wow. you have a new moon, then you have a full moon. Each time you have at least two in one it, session, right? In, in one, one year. In one period. So we had the um, opening up at the Libra full moon lunar right. eclipse, and then it closed. The portal closed on the new moon solar eclipse. So oh. you consider you call those two eclipses. So it's two. This was two in just this one time frame. We're gonna have two more in September, 
So okay. that's at least four this year. Wow. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. Did you know that? And I you know what? Know it, it, like also like theoretically too, when you think about it, I, I love to look at it as like, you know, we have free will as right. human beings, but there's also a divine intelligence that wants us to fulfill a certain destiny right. and walk a certain path and reach a certain alignment. And that's what happens with the eclipses. It's right. like, okay, my children have free will, free will, free will. And then the universe comes in and says, and, you know, let me mix things around <laughs> and now go again. You know, like, a, like reset. a salad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. you know I mean? And like a reset button, you know, like yeah. if you haven't been paying attention or you're going off path, the eclipses come in and they can be very jarring, you know, like there's definitely some surprise surprises even for us but in good ways yeah. that are happening because of this eclipse uh things we had never seen before starting there it's new it's about endings and beginnings and major ones right major right endings and beginnings. to the point that we're starting a new beginning because we're going to start a new podcast yeah. and it's going to be called what third eye forensics baby third eye forensic. the psychic <laughs> psychic and the side chick, chick. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, we're going to be looking at, because I know it is your dharma yeah. to find missing people. Yeah. Like it has or solve been, mysteries it, or whatever. Yeah, solve mysteries. It has been your dharma for a very long time, ever since yeah. I met her. And it's actually what brought us closer together. It was. I, I was into it before everybody else was into it. You yeah. know what I mean? Before the Netflix thing, yeah. you know I was. I was yeah. I've been into it since I was a kid. Yeah. I used to do puzzles. My mom used to say that I'd be five years old and I I could do puzzles really fast because I'd be like, blip, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so I liked finding like s crystals. I would, uh, you know, or or people that are finding dinosaur bones or something like that. Yeah. I, I just don't have the patience because I would be like, I found the bow. And they'd be like, you need to take a brush. And I'll, I'd be like, that but would be my just heart. pull it. <laughs> it's fine. Squirrel. Something breaks off and from another bone. Yeah. Uh. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And it was funny because uh, here I'm going to go squirrel again. Here I'm going to go squirrel. We were at the River Red Crossing and the people wandered off. And I have a very, very loud whistle. Oh, very yeah, it's loud really whistle good. It's that I learned really since good. I was a kid. And Jerry goes, you must have been a tom tomboy. And I was like, yeah, I kind of was. Mm -hmm. um, and so then some other beautiful ladies were saying that when they call their family, they go, ka-ka, ka, -ka! ka, -ka! <laughs> oh, yeah. right? Yeah. And my husband just ka -ka! told me, he goes, that's from... That's from the movie Up, and I'm like, what? And he goes, the bird goes, caca, caca, and I, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that, a bird. So, so we were saying caca, caca, a lot and to so, call people back to the group. And so, uh, one of the girls is saying, what are you going to call your squirrel? And I said, maybe I should, you know, she goes, should you call it? Because the squirrel's name was what? That with when they're pounding the pans, wasn't it like? Oh, it starts with an N, but I can't remember the name. Yeah, it's it was some kind of. Are you going to name it that? And I said, no, I'm going to call it Kaka. And then Kaka, <laughs> <laughs> because like the uh, Native Americans' name is Kacha, right? Ch Chakta. 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 So Chakta Nation. I think we should call this Chakta. Oh, that's super <laughs> cute. And I have a squirrel, uh, but I left it at home, so I'm using this one. Yeah, Jerry and, gave us a squirrel. Yeah. yeah. Him and his wife gave us a... Yeah, it was very sweet, so I'm so, using this one in the meantime. Yeah. So that was... I mean, there's like fun in different ways, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because we Should were we just running around. Should we read some testimonials? Sure. Okay, I want to read to you. Um, so after the retreat, we send out a survey. We want people to know, like... Ask them, how was it for you and what can we share publicly so we can tell people about it? Cause, right, because we're know, having another one in September. Yeah, we're doing another and one in September. And what's the dates on September? September 17th for sure, huh? Um, yeah, it'll be during the time of the next eclipse and it's going to be the full moon in Pisces. The full moon in Pisces lunar eclipse is going to be September 17th. So um, leading up to that, the day, I think arriving on the 13th, 13th right, and the then like 18th? 18th or 19th, something Thir like that. 13th yeah. to the 18th, I think. Yeah. Um, but this is what someone said when they filled out their uh, public testimonial section. The best retreat ever. Big letters. <laughs> yeah, all in caps. Best retreat ever. Hannah and Debbie are the most beautiful people and an absolute joy to be around. Why, well, thank you. Uh, I've never laughed so much in my life. I learned and experienced a ton of spiritual practices during the retreat that I haven't experienced before. The amount of knowledge I've gained from the retreat is unparalleled, just extraordinary. Hannah and Debbie tailored activities to each individual that was on the spiritual journey, which made it extra impactful. 
I think that extra effort to create the group experience into a personal experience was impressive to say the least. Wow. 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 I'm like impressed with this review. Yeah. It truly exceeded all my expectations once in a lifetime experience. Wow. I mean, it really was a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. Like, yeah, it, who knows? Uh, yeah. Because I mean, the group was, we, they got along so well. They did. They got along so well. And they they weren't overly sensitive. We were joking around and da 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 da, and people yeah. weren't like, <gasps> you know, yeah. it, it was like, it, they allowed the laughter in. They did. They allowed the laughter in. And, and I think really it, we all needed it. Yeah. We all needed it. So yeah. definitely. Uh, let's see. Someone else. Hannah and Debbie are a dynamic, energetic, and passionate about their work. And it shows in every aspect of the retreat. Uh, Debbie and Hannah are both amazing. The whole group of 15 different people from the U.S. and Canada spent six unbelievable days together. We all bonded, feeling like family from the beginning. That was true. We felt yeah. we felt the family from the first, pr prior to coming to Sedona, we do a pre-retreat Zoom call. Right. And we felt it then. It right. was so beautiful. I don't know any retreats that we connect on WhatsApp yeah. so that you guys can, can start talking start to start each talk. other. We do a, a Zoom call beforehand yeah. so that you can see each other again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like we help you And then you we're connect. doing a post call. And then we're doing a, we're going to do up. a post one. We've yeah. been still connecting on the WhatsApp. Yeah. Um, if, and, and it's like asking for prayers and we don't need to know what it's for. Yeah. You know, we just had one say, just send prayers. I, you know, I'm going through a difficult time. We're like, okay, we're sending you the prayers. We're not going to even question you. So yeah. we're creating this little soul dynamic yeah. for you to... Uh, gradually go in and gradually go out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And sure, after a while, you know, it will be a little bit of chirp, chirp, but um, but you will still connect. Totally. Still connect. Do you I know think, what I'm saying? Yeah, I think this group is has bonded in ways that were just yeah. beautiful. A lot of people found their soul sister, soul daughter, you know, yeah. soul mother. Uh, yeah. And you'll probably soul meet child. them if you decide to come on a retreat with us. Chances are one of them is going to be on be it on too. Yeah, because yeah, this yeah. person said, we visited sacred sites for, um, in Sedona and had sessions at the house. Each event was designed to move us further along in our journey. Mission accomplished, exclamation mark. It was a phenomenal retreat that I would recommend to anyone. I know I'll be back. Yeah. So yeah. Just so beautiful. we just, yeah, beautiful, beautiful testimonies. Yeah. That thank we you, received. everybody. And thank you. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, it's just the energy that was placed there and stuff like that. Do yeah. you know what I mean? And you can still plant your seeds, plant your seeds of, oh, I want to go on their retreat, but I can't afford it. Universal source, God, Buddha, whatever you believe in, please bring me this, you know, the place, the time yeah. or bring it to me. And I'm not saying that you have to do the, our retreat. I'm not saying that you, you go. We're just saying you'll want to. You. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. Well, fiddly dee. No. <laughs> okay. I'll say it. I'll say no. it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like. It, it's really, I feel like it's perfect timing, perfect people, the perfect situation. If it's meant to yeah. be, it will happen. Yeah. It will happen. I mean, look at all these beautiful people's smiles. Look at that. Look at that. Look how crazy that is. So good. And that was the sunset. We were just got done eating Mexican food. Oh, yeah. Where and everybody I mean, got up and left me. <laughs> It was a big table. We didn't know who finished. Everybody. We, we thought everybody finished. In our defense, we thought everybody I was, was served finished. last. So oh, I was eating that's a chimney, why. Chimney chunk, and everybody. And you were every, probably telling so many stories. stories that I was trying to connect like, with my yeah, clients. You yeah, know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. I, I don't want them feeling. Uh, you know, it's like connecting with twelve people. It's it's it can be a lot of work. So I'm talking and did it and and trying to eat at the same time, and then everybody got up, and I'm like. I'm not done eating yet. <laughs> <laughs> so then everybody sits down and no lie, I'm like eating. And all of a sudden the waiter grabs my plate and he goes, I think you're done. And I'm like, I guess I am. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm not. Uh, the universe the is telling me not to eat so much. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, you we asked to, to be outside. thinner. <laughs> oh, we're no, so it, funny though. But just things like that where you could have been upset and it's just like, yeah. nah, it's nah, fun. nah. It was fun. It was fun. We had a beautiful home. 
yeah. uh, that we went to so worked we'll be out at better. The same, we'll be at the same retreat house um, in yeah. September. So I'm pretty sure it is September 13th to the 18th. The link to book. So this is a formal invitation to yes. anyone who feels called to go on our next Sedona retreat. It's also going to include the holotropic breath work, the um, soul collaging. That was a beautiful moment with the cards. Yeah, a lot of people like that. Building your intuition. We're going to go see the Red Rock Crossings Crossing again, again. Spirit Labyrinth. of the Heavens. Yeah. I mean, just um, all of that will be there. And, uh, oh, in the Chapel of the Holy Cross. That was, oh, yeah. I had yeah. such a powerful moment there. Yeah. Oh, my God. When Spirit told you, tell Hannah to stand in, in the, the feet. footprints. Yeah. There's these footprints at the front of the church. And if you take off your shoes and you place your feet in and you look up, the statue of the Christ, Christ. his eyes are looking directly me. towards that spot. Right. And I had just, a, I had a very powerful communing with right. him it was it was deep <laughs> so that, i mean that place was incredible you'll get all of that and um so the link will be on debbie's link tree and so just click it and you can make your deposit um if you i would encourage to make your deposit sooner than later because we will sell out this yeah. last one sold out in like less than a month so um and if you have any questions just feel free to email me at hana at wildflowerswithin.com or Photo psychic, psychic Debbie, Debbie at gmail.com. At gmail.com. And say, I'm interested in the retreat. Yeah. And then we'll give you the information for it. We'll give you the information for it. Yeah. So um, Spirit has uh, told me that I need to say a phrase after my shows now. Oh, okay. So that fiddly D, she didn't know about this. <laughs> so they want me to, to and also... Um, um, be careful of the earthquakes. And again, I'm not a financial advisor, but watch your money this month. That's all I'm going to say. Watch your money. Okay. So, but anyways, the saying they want me to say is, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Ooh. Today's a gift. And that's why they call it present. Mm, they love Be in it. the is. Yes. Be in the is. Be in the is. <laughs> yesterday is a history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today's a gift. That's why they call it the present. The present. Being in the is. Being in the is. Allow, yeah. allow. Know that you're worthy, that you're deserving. And uh, check yeah. out our new podcast thing. We're going to do YouTube and then put it on podcasts. And we're going to create a, a podcast after we have a couple yeah. videos. And then we're going to have a separate podcast. And it's going to be called The Third Eye Forensics. And it's going to be about missing people or yeah. um, cold, cases cold cases. Unsolved. Or, unsolved cases. Uh, unsolved cases. Um, things like that. Uh, if there's someone that's really prominent missing, we'll probably do a video on it and see what's go what's going on, right? <laughs> what's going <laughs> on? on? What's going <laughs> on? on? Yeah. <laughs> and we want to add a new perspective, and we, we're going to throw her third eye in the mix. If there's any astrology to look at, you know, I'll yeah. see what was happening the day that the person went missing, right? Um, and just really look at it from uh, a different a different place, all yeah. more angles. Because a lot of people have been saying, Debbie, start doing it. And, and I should. I should. Because that's my joy. So, I've been wanting to support you in yeah, this. Yeah. And she's been years, wanting to support me. Yes. over a decade. Yes. <laughs> so um, it's going to be good. Yeah. It's in our astrology. It's, it's going to be good. good. It's going to be good. This is one of our <laughs> new moon seeds from the eclipse. Yep. Surprise. Our, surprise. We did More not work, Debbie. More work. Place. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not working enough. Um, but yeah. <sighs> So, yeah. fantastic, fantastic. Well, thank you for watching Thanks, and connecting. Everybody. Did we do all the pictures? We had another. Oh, I want to show you this picture. Oh, so our very look last at my one. hair right here. It's my hair is sticking up. Look at my <laughs> hair. Put it on pause. Get a magnifying glass. You'll here, see we'll my hair. My hair is literally like this. Like I was going to get electrocuted. You see like blonde streaks. streaks. I mean, literally, her. the wind wasn't blowing. Did it because other everybody else's hair would be. Uh, yeah. But isn't that crazy? You look at yeah. my hair and it's like literally <laughs> like this. Like I'm going to get electrocuted. <laughs> or maybe be me up Scotty. I don't know. What the heck? I'm like looking at my hair going, what? It, was it wasn't wild. that. Because we were in a wild. vortex. We were in the love vortex. Was, so yeah. 
Maybe because I got a lot of love. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I love, love it. Chef. And you were doing the you were doing the sound oh I was thing on oh yeah hearts. I was doing um so uh, tuny forks were, because you were doing on everybody's that. heart yeah who knows oh I forgot about that like, yeah you know so I was like. <laughs> Maybe they were trying to beam me up, and I was too heavy. I was too fluffy. They couldn't pick me. They're like, uh, 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 too heavy. <laughs> or they brought you back down, and you were like, woo! And then <laughs> yeah. the hair was still trying to come down. <laughs> you actually did go up and came down really fast. Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you see? <laughs> and I also got a picture of a UFO, but um, oh, we yeah. should have put that up. But yeah. So crazy times, fun times. Fun so times. we would love, love, love to see you there. Yeah. And to connect and. The energy could be different. Maybe it's more quieter. Maybe we're not laughing as much. Maybe we're crying more. Or maybe it's more love. Or maybe it's more communication, whatever. Because every group is different. Yeah. And brings whatever energy needs to come through. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It'll and, be the eclipse portal and it will be incredibly powerful no matter and what. It, and it's the eclipse for what? Um, it's in Pisces. It's a so, lunar, it's a full Pisces moon rising. lunar eclipse. So it's going to be a surrendering and a letting go or water. Um, a reoccurrence of the past, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So water, like jumping in your canoe finally and, and going with the river instead of against the river might yeah. be the thing that's going on. Yeah. yeah. Never know. Yeah, we'll see. Yep. Yep. So, well, until next time, I want to give you blessings and smiles. Mm-hmm. And thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much Thanks, for everybody. connecting. Blessings and smiles. We love you. Bye. Bye.